Sunday. Yes, Sunday. You're doing it. You made it to the top of the mountain. Now let's sit back and enjoy the view. And let's do it by bringing out our very, very, very first guest. He's our first guest, which being he's the number one guest, and I'm delaying my announcement until Rob gets to the mic. Here he is! Ladies and gentlemen, the other Winchester, Jake Abel! There you go. <laughs> Woo! Did you enjoy the uh, the show last night? You were you were here for the concert. Oh my God, the show is incredible. How many people were here for the show last night? <laughs> Fantastic. Whipping post melted my face backstage. Ah, I sit when I come to the Saturday night special. I sit right behind the screen, right here. It's the best show, in, best seat in the house. So <laughs> the second best seat in the house. <laughs> so anytime you see Saturday night special, just picture me. Sitting behind that screen, right there, thinking about all the y'all out here. Well, and you can watch it backwards. One of these times, I mean, you've been on this stage before, I would like to have you not watch it from there. I'd like to have you on this stage singing with this band again. Yeah. It's already in the works. It's already in the works. Brilliant. It's happening. It's happening. I love it. Chicago, Jake. That was fun. <laughs> right. You feeling good? Woo! So this is the first panel of the day? Yep. Let's get stretched out. Let's get ready. Um, I promise nothing. Uh, I did get to bed at 2 a.m. last night. Not because I was drinking, but because I couldn't sleep. Missed my wife. Aww. And the pillows were kind of uncomfortable. <laughs> No, but it's so great to be in Chicago. This is one of my favorite cities in the world. Um, I came here once when I was a kid with my parents, and every time I go to Chicago, they're like, hey, you gonna go to Rosebud's? Is that still around? The time restaurant? Yeah, apparently to them, that's like, that Chicago. Uh, and I, I've never been back, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, let's start this. Uh, knock knock joke? Yeah, Should we recreate it for yeah. those who weren't here? Yeah. <laughs> she comes!
in terms of everyone in the entire Winchester biological family, I tend to notice that Jake is the one that's mostly disconnected since, you know, his mother's gone, John's dead, and he can't really connect with Sam and Dean on the same level. And, um, and now that Mary's back on the show, if and when, actually, I'm just going to say Jake's going to, I'm not judging that Adam's going to come back, but when he does come back, how do you think he and Mary would get along since they're blood related, but they, you know, it's kind of one of those weird relationships. No, well, no, no, they're not, but yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought they were going to be Listen, man, you can't say the wrong thing. <laughs> uh, so what would the relationship be like, you think? Uh, I have no idea. Um, I've been, I feel like I've been lobbying to get Adam back for ages. That was, what, season five? Yeah. Just with Jared Jensen, we were just talking about that. that, that. For season five, um, I, have, I really have no idea. My theory was always, like, the episode Adam comes back. Adam's home or something. And then like, the whole episode goes by and Adam doesn't come back. And at the very end, he's like, hey guys, and he gets hit by a bus. <laughs> um, <laughs> which wouldn't be a lot of fun for me, but it would be hilarious. <laughs> and then bring him back like the next episode for a whole fun park thing. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like for me, the relationship with uh, Sam and Dean is something that I would want to explore the most. Uh, but I, I never thought about that. Honestly, that's a really good, great point. And um, maybe if the writers would listen to the fans, <laughs> they would think of something. Yeah, thanks. Hi, how are you? Good. It's not if, it's when you come back. We all know you're coming back, so there's no if. Um, Season 27. <laughs> so I'm a teacher. You're a teacher? I am. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you want to be like outdoor rec or anything, but if you could do anything else, sky's the limit, what other career would you like to have? What other career would I like to have? Ooh, that's really tough. Um, because I think it's tough because it's the same reason I chose this one, was because it was the only career that could let me do every career. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not gonna, no one's, I, mean, I could, I live in Hollywood, I could probably get paid to pretend to be a superhero. But I can do it like on set with a bunch of fun props, you know what I mean? Um, I know it's a boring answer, but that's exactly why I chose this job, was because I couldn't pick which one. And, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Thank you. Thank you. Boring Sushi. I don't know about my mom. <laughs> I'm an actor. Hi, Jay. Um, I was wondering about your experience on the movie The Host and what your favorite part was. Thank you. Uh, so, if you haven't seen it, The Host is a film I did a couple of years ago that Stephanie Meyer wrote, uh, the novel of the Twilight. Uh, yeah. Um, that, to this day, is one of my favorite projects. We had um, Max Irons, Saoirse. Easy. Uh, Saoirse Ronan, who's a dear friend, William Hurt, Diane Kruger, I mean, like, the cast was incredible, um, and my favorite part of that movie was the, the last day, which was the date between Ian and Wanda. Uh, we were actually on top of like, this plateau in New Mexico, and it was the last day of filming, and it was like the most beautiful uh, image and uh, landscape we could have ended the story on. Um, yeah, I mean, to this day is one of my favorites. I actually thought of you when I read the book, and I was like, he'd be so perfect for it. And then when they cast you, I was so excited. Thanks for so the good thank vibes. Thank you. Keep it up. Keep reading books. Keep thinking of me. <laughs> thank you. Oh my god, this is the coolest day of my life. Anyway, uh, I think you are. You're young. <laughs> yeah. You, get to you are the coolest guy ever, oh. um, and you're also really, really cute. Uh, <laughs> It's, it's the one I revert to the most because it was the most foul. Um, I don't know if he still has this character. He may have retired it for all I know. But Jared had this character. And back when I was working with Jared, uh, he was eating a lot of meat because he was trying to get even bigger than he is, which doesn't make any sense. He, he 
He's huge. Uh, so he became very gassy during that time. Uh, a lot of meat parts. And uh, there was a scene where we were in the diner, and we were in the booth at one time, and I was against the window. He was trapping me. And he just like looks at me. But not from his mouth. It was the worst smell I have ever smelled in my life to this day. I couldn't leave. And he, he laughs like adorable Jared laughs. He goes, I am Vodicus! And that was the best day of my life. Thank you so Thank you. much. Thank you. Hello. Hi. Um, what are you most afraid of? What am I most afraid of? Yes. Public speaking. Okay. <laughs> um, hmm, that's a really good question. I used to be afraid of heights. I can tell you what I used to be afraid of. Uh, I used to be afraid of heights until I did a film before the host called Percy Jackson. <laughs> State Building, and I walk to the edge and look menacingly out over the city. And they, we were in a sound stage that was three times higher than this, maybe even four. Um, they had built the top of the needle of, of the skyscraper up there on the platform, and I had like what's called a pit, which is um, a line that's attached to you for stunts, right? So you don't fall over the edge. But I mean, like the, the line went right here. If you can't see that, my toe is off the stage. <laughs> And the director was like, great, cool, so you're going to go over there, uh, we're going to pick on you, uh, you're going to hold the lightning bolt, and you're going to walk to the edge, you're not going to look down, and you're going to look at menacingly out of the city. Cool, cool, go. Uh, and that was the day that it broke my fear, because I had to, like, feel the edge. <laughs> my dad wasn't there for me. <laughs> uh, and, and that was the day that broke my fear of fights. So, yay! Um, I don't know. That, I think, like, maybe, that's tough. Because even when I was playing the Goo, I still felt like Adam, you know what I mean? Um, but I guess, I guess playing an archangel, I guess you can't get cooler than that. I don't think that I can top that. Who knows? Um, if they bring Adam back, we can find out. The ghoul I wasn't so keen on because when I had to like jam my finger in Jared's stomach and like, I don't know, did they keep it in by like I taste the blood? Did they keep that in the episode? Because that thing, that stuff is nasty. <laughs> and I feel like if I came back like, as the ghoul or whatever, which I think is impossible, I don't know. Um, I don't want to eat that blood again. <laughs> so, I vote to bring Adam back as Adam. So, I Love You and Supernatural, and also Percy Jackson, you did great in that. Do you like doing TV shows or movies better? Um, you know, it, anymore, it's, it's not a big difference, honestly. Uh, the television that's made today is incredible and is unlike any TV that's ever been made. It's, it's hard to feel a difference when you're on the sets. For me, like, my interest was always film, the, like, the three-act structure of the film, like, the finality of it. Like, Really, I, I, don't, I understand that, um, and so it speaks to me more. It's the kind of stories I like to tell. But with the storytelling and television now, oh my gosh, like it's so good. And half the film writers are now writing television shows, and they have the budget to do it. So with with the way things are now, I, I don't, they're so similar. Thank you. Thank you. And with fandom like this. <laughs> Tortured soul on the show, um, you know, abandoned by your dad, mom died, abandoned by your brother like two or three times, and then the musical episode is like you got forgotten, like 
Who's Adam? You think um, you had a bad. <laughs> what, would, what is Adam going to say to Sam and Dean when he does come back after all that? Fart in the faces. <laughs> 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 I, uh, I don't know, that's why uh, we have to bring it yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, It's a short time in between him getting hit by a bus, too, you understand, so. Uh, hey! Um, I honestly don't know, I'm not as good as the writers of that show, uh, but I imagine he would not be happy. I imagine he would not be happy. Thank you. I drink water when I came out here because uh, I'm going to take this one. <laughs> okay. I hope Richard drinks it. <laughs> Hi. Um, my question is, Supernatural has a ton of action going on, and in Percy Jackson you've had a ton of action going on, and even in The Host. I was wondering, have you guys ever gotten actually hit, you know, like they got a little too close, have you ever had any issues like that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, one specifically. I talk about um, to other stunt guys and stuff was on Supernatural when I got shot and got thrown back into the wall after the whole, you know, me trying to, my, me put my finger in Jared's stomach thing. Um, so again, we had the pick on my back, right? It was alive there. Only this time, instead of it protecting me from like falling off of the ledge, it was so two big stunt guys could rip me backwards from a gunshot into a wall. And uh, so we set for the stunt, it was the last shot of the day, and, you know, I like, looked at the wall to make sure everything was okay. It's a real wall. Um, what I didn't account for was the crown molding, right at the height of my elbow. Didn't uh, see that one coming. Uh, so, like, we're ready, and we did the, the shot, and it goes bang, and then this giant stunt guy pulls me backwards, and I hit the wall, and goes boom, right in that crown molding. Fell to the ground, and went, you're only getting one today. <laughs> Luckily they got it. They got the shot. Man, it hurt. I, like, I was going to go to the hospital. Like, and the producers were happy about that. <laughs> so yeah, that was, that was one of the worst ones. Well, I'm glad you didn't get hurt too bad. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you ate my mother. Yeah, thank you. Hello. So I also loved you as Luke in Percy Jackson. Um, my question is, what do you think Adam's reaction would be if he knew that uh, Sam chose to rescue Bobby from hell instead of Adam? He'd be pretty offended. <laughs> I'm offended. <laughs> um, yeah, rightly so. Screw those guys. I should come back and start a war against them. These are all ideas. All we can write and pitch to the writers of this show. So petitions. Call your local congressman. Uh, yeah, I'd be pretty pissed off. <laughs> Hi! Um, um, uh, so I was just gonna ask, so we know that Michael's messed up from God's Hank, he's in no shape to fight. Do you think, how do you messed up do you think Adam will be? Because he's just a human. Oh, but he's a special little human, that Adam. <laughs> um, I, <laughs> that. Uh, I, heard, I heard a theory that he's in heaven. I think if he went to heaven, there may be restorative powers, and he comes back down from it. You know what I'm saying? Again, these are all ideas. How are they not thinking of this? I thought about this just staying on a stage. And no one's paying me to do it. Um, uh, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Hi. Um, I was going to ask, what's your favorite blooper that you've been a part of or witnessed happening? Uh, well, it's funny, I, it was, uh, I think Jensen just brought it up back in our photo op. It was the, the mullet of cocktail scene, the hey ass butt scene. <laughs> and, like, we had this sugar glass bottle that was supposed to break, right? And I don't know if it was just, like, Misha, Misha's soft hand that could break, <laughs> or my soft chest, I don't know. Uh, and, there, I mean, yeah, it's, it's on the paper, room, right? You kept throwing it at me, it hit me, it hit me in the nipple. <laughs> It hurt so bad every single time. And then I was like, what's wrong with this guy? He's like, picked up one, crushed in my hands. <laughs> Horrible. I blame it on Misha. It was definitely Misha's fault. I think we all know it was Misha's fault. Uh, yeah, so the nipple, 
glass bottle what breaks. Thank you. Um, My nipple's hi. okay. It's, 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 uh, it's okay. Uh, hi. hi. So, you played the character of um, Luke, the son of Hermes, in the Percy Jackson movies. Um, if you were a demigod, who do you think your godly parent would be? Like if me, Jake, if I was a demigod? Yeah. Um, I'm still gonna go with Hermes because I want those flying shoes. You know I mean? I'm gonna fly around all different kinds of realms and stuff. I think that's really cool. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hi. I just wanted to say that I loved you and Percy Jackson, and in the middle of the fight scene, you stopped just to yell at him for running on your boat. <laughs> and my don't don't walk on my roof. <laughs> yeah. And my question is, what is the weirdest thing a fan has asked you to sign? <laughs> There's children in the audience. <laughs> uh, no, no, no one's made me sign too much skin, so that's lucky. Or I'm lucky, I don't know. Uh, um, weird, so, uh, someone did tell me once one of my first conventions in Toronto, uh, Vancouver, years ago, they wanted me to sign their arm so they could get so sign my heart. I was like, yeah, okay. I was like, ah, we're on Supernatural 666. She goes, I'm going to get this tattoo. I was like, oh, shoot. Uh, they're nine. <laughs> Just, uh, uh, um, but uh, I've been, see, I feel like if I say I've been lucky, it's going to get weird. I feel like I'm going to change it. Everyone's going to start being like, oh, I'm going to get it. It sounds like real weird. So far, just an arm to get tattooed, which I hope she didn't do it. I hope she didn't do it. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Hi, I'm Jessica. Hi. Um, I was wondering, what is the craziest costume you've seen here today? Yours. <laughs> You're literally the only costume I've seen today. Why is nobody dressing up? Mm -hmm. Huh? Yes, she was dressed up? I missed that. Missed it. Unfortunately, what was the craziest costume you saw? Um, I've seen someone with like uh, angel wings that they made out of like wood or something. That's pretty cool. That sounds pretty cool, actually. I'm gonna go to that. Huh? Who? What, angel wings? Where are you? Best costume I've seen. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hi, Jake. Hi. I just had a quick question. How do you think hell has changed Adam, especially considering he spent so long in there? Do you think when he comes back that there's potential for him to be a villain? Yes. I like that. <laughs> See, that is so easy. <laughs> Gold! Yes, I think she should come back like kind of insane. Kind of crazy. Yeah? Woo! Or I guess the boys. Yeah. It's good, we're building up. Building up. By the end of this, we're going to have the full launch. <laughs> Thank you. Hi. Hi. Um, speaking of Percy Jackson, how do you feel that they cast Nathan Fillion as your dad? Oh man, I was so excited. So excited until I didn't meet him. <laughs> Not once. <laughs> Never met him. Well, they think you look like him, so that's good. That's good. Never met him. <laughs> Very disappointing. That's a common misconception. People are like, oh, okay, everyone does movies together, so you all know each other. Not true. Never met him. Do you oh, I know. I feel bad for you. It's a pretty high bar. <laughs> um, ooh, let me think, let me think. Something I'm obsessed with. Sushi! <laughs> uh, I 
don't, I, I don't, I don't know, and it makes me sad because I feel like I'm missing out on something. What? My kid. Your family. My family. Yeah, but what? what? Um, I feel like I'm missing out on something, not having something that you guys all share together. Like, I don't have anywhere I can go with a group of, like, my people. And, like, enjoy something. I guess, yeah. have been welcomed into this family, so I'll be an honorary super fan. <laughs> Hi. So if Adam were to turn into a monster from Supernatural, what would he be? I'm guessing there's like a ton of options here. Uh, monster from Supernatural, what, what, what's the coolest monster? See, I'm not crazy about something like that, and I need to be. I need to have that answer right there. Come back as Michael. Come back as Michael? Is he a monster? No. All right. Yeah, I'm 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 <laughs> what, what's, what's your favorite monster? See, it's not so easy, yeah. is it? <laughs> something that can fly. I'll leave you with that. Something that can fly. I guess, uh, you know, with the Percy shoes and stuff, I just, I just want to fly. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. What was that thing? Hi. What's your favorite fruit? <laughs> Why? I just want to know. That doesn't like tell you something about me. Those bananas. <laughs> Um, I do I think it's bananas. <laughs> I eat a banana every day. Yeah. Thanks. What's your favorite fruit? Mango. I've actually never had a mango. Uh, I, have, I have to say... You're being judged right now by eating like, like fruit. Uh, pineapple. <laughs> you put it on pizza? Can leave. <laughs> it's actually not bad pizza. It's... How's it going, Jay? Uh, a lot of actors uh, tend to give stories about how they usually try to swipe stuff from set. I'm wondering if you've ever taken anything from what you worked on. <laughs> no, that's not, that's, that's not how I, that's not what I do. <laughs> I try to steal something from every set. <laughs> it's like, it's an art form, because it can't be too big. They're like, they call you and like, dude, you can't take a car from the set. <laughs> I thought it was a prop. Um, from like, from Percy Jackson, I was able to take like, in the first, in the first film, they made these like, amazing handmade, ordinate, like, leather, um, armor and stuff like that, all this like, so I, I took one of the belts, but my mom has it like shadow box in her house. It's very <laughs> cool. uh, so I have, I have that one, and I have like one of the our practice swords from that movie. I took a book from my room in the host because my character was an avid reader. So I took a, uh, a Rudyard Kipling short story book. Uh, took that one. Um, I don't know if I took anything from Supernatural. I feel like I didn't have like a lot of props, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, definitely. I definitely, definitely try to take a momentum, not something they're gonna miss, but something that, you know, is like a, a, a totem from, um, hair. Sam's hair. I do have clippings of the boy's hair as well. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Hi. Hi. Uh, so when you first were on the show, you were a ghoul, and that was awesome. And then it was a while, but some time went by, and then you came back as Adam. Did you know that when you were filming the Ghoul episode that you'd be back? Um, I'm trying to think back because that was a hundred years ago, and <laughs> eighty-four seasons. Um, I didn't think I knew. I think it was a possibility. It was like possible recur. Um, 
So I didn't even know, so I got the script in my audition. I didn't know what, what you know, the story was, but I got the script. It was like, oh, wow, I was like, this is cool. But I had no idea that there was like, there were going to be this three episode arc. Um, and I'm not, even, I'm not even sure that the writers knew that. I mean, I don't know. Um, something they probably did, but they didn't tell me. And then when I came back, each time it was a surprise. Like, oh, no, I did. Um, so, yeah, no, it was a surprise for me, too, um, going into filming. Yeah. Hopefully, it'll be a surprise when you come back again. Yes, me, too. When I come back. Hi. Um, okay, uh, I'm sorry. It keeps like blanking. Um, when you had to shoot, when Sam was showing you how to shoot weapons and stuff, did you have to do any weapon training to? Um, I mean, I, I like my dad has weapons, so I fired weapons before, so I was relatively comfortable with them. Um, but on set, no matter what, every time, like, I just did a, a thing that is a military thing. And it's always, you always practice with whatever weapon you're using to be safe. Because even though those things are loaded with blanks, they're incredibly dangerous. They still have a muzzle blast that comes out, and it's like, you know, everyone has to be, like, safe about it, yeah. Do you have voice clippings in a shadow box in your house? No, it's a Ziploc bag. Just keep it fresh. <laughs> <laughs> Bird Plus. That's Jared's name. <laughs> Head and shoulders, Jensen. <laughs> Hello. Um, I wanted to know what was your favorite line from Percy Jackson and each character from Supernatural you played. I have to tell you my favorite line from each character of Supernatural. <laughs> No. <laughs> uh, hey, ass butt. Uh, Sammy! <laughs> One of them's not a line, it's more of an action. Three, that's good enough for that one. And uh, don't walk on my roof. Boom. Thank you. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so, I was wondering if you thought, after all the time that you spent in hell with Lucifer, if he could have possibly turned you into a demon or a knight of hell and become the next big bad for Sam and Dean. Sky, Sky. <laughs> it's all happening right here in Chicago. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, yes. One more. Yes. Let's do that. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Oh. Here's where I pay. Yeah, you get up here. And you know what? And you know what? I'm coming to you. See? If you've been brave in your life for once, <laughs> I love you, Jake! Mm -hmm. You should have came up here, didn't you? <laughs> self-love is so much. <laughs> Don't know if we can do it on the CW. <laughs> but I'm not against it either. Really? <laughs> Hi. Oh God, it's up. Um, I'm just wondering if you have had any supernatural experiences, or if you believe in the supernatural in any way. It's funny because, like, I have friends that are really sensitive to it. My brother is. My one of my wife's best friends is really sensitive mm -hmm. to it. 
Um, I don't think I am, fortunately and unfortunately, but my, my grandparents' farmhouse back in the day was super haunted. Like the walls would bleed, <laughs> the rocking chair would rock by itself, it was really fast. When my dad was a kid, like he was playing cards with his brothers in the other room, and the radio just kept t turning on to static in the other room. Uh, there was a wine cellar that they said that a baby would cry in. The, 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 the legend was that the previous owner hung himself in the stairway. <laughs> and that he was like still part of the house. My, my, my grandpa also had these like, they weren't say, like satanic books. I don't know where he got them, but they like, they dealt with the occult. And when he got them, it was like it said, that's when it started. And then when he burned them, like that's when it went away. Um, <laughs> so like in my family, there's this like folklore amongst my family of the farmhouse that was Super uh, I was a baby. Like, well, my, my earliest memory was there in the crib. That's how you know it's haunted. My earliest memory, I was young enough to be in the crib. And I was in this dark room, and I could just see the shadows and stuff. And there was a portrait of Ziggy in the comic strip. I think my uncle had painted it. Um, and then I lived it out of the crib. <laughs> and then there was like this shadow figure. None of that happened, but that was my first memory. Of being in the crib. He probably wanted to go to heaven, but I want him to live because I want a job. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Thanks for coming. Um, I love you. I think you're tremendously talented. Uh, my question is: Is there a role that you would love to play? Somebody just asked me this. I didn't have an answer then, and I still don't have an answer now. <laughs> And it's something I have to think about because it seems like such an obvious thing for an actor to have. Um, it's going to be a biopic at some point, I'm sure, and I just don't know which one it is. I, I just recently, a, couple, a year ago, so did one about the Beach Boys called Love and Mercy. I don't know if anyone saw it, but if you're if you're a Beach Boys fan, you have to see that movie because I played Mike Love, and it was like it was so nerve wracking and amazing. I got to sing with Brian Wilson and the Beach Boys on the stage. It was amazing. Um, and so I always want to do a music biopic. So now that, now that I've done that one, I want to do, I think, one that's like, I don't know who it is, I don't know what the musician is yet, but I, I, I think that would be fun to go back to. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's say that both Adam and John came back human. What do you think John's... Uh, John would say to Sam and Dean about leaving Adam in heaven. Oh. I raised you better? Why are you such jerks? Why is your hair so floppy? Yeah, I, I imagine he'd be pretty disappointed in his voice. Well, he'd probably understand it too. I imagine he'd understand it. Yeah. Why don't we have him? But he would, if he came back, was on the, you know, the show for a long time and understood what was going on. <laughs> He'd keep coming around. Thank you. Thanks. Hi. So my sister and I had a six-hour drive in Chicago, and I was just wondering, what's your go-to road trip band? Ooh. Shoot. <laughs> Don't tell me how to live my life. <laughs> That's really tough. Really, 90s playlist. <laughs> Did you say get him? <laughs> don't, don't get him. <laughs> Literally. Oh. I was gonna like pretend go with like this thing. Ow! Ah! Like, and I know. Jacob kicked my ass. <laughs> what is your favorite band? My favorite band? 
the, was that the question? Well, it was my go-to road trip. I think it was banned, but I uh, am my own person. Yeah. So I changed it to a playlist, a 90s playlist, which is right. obvious. Yes, you do like the 90s band. I like the 90s. I'm a 90s band. Born That's 87 awesome. was my prime. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. Um, so, uh, yeah. Awesome. How was it? How was this? Were they nice? They're fantastic. They're one of the best, best groups. We love Chicago. Chicago, I don't again. care what any other city says, Chicago is our personal favorite. Chicago. <laughs> will I say that in the next town? Yes, I will. But <laughs> you know, you know I only need it here. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Jay Gable. <laughs> Bye, Chicago. Not tomorrow. Tomorrow, we got